Hello everyone. Today we are going to introduce the first subject of the fifth semester, which is management and entrepreneurship. So before we move into the contents of this particular subject, it is necessary for us to learn what are the objectives of this particular subject. That is why we are going to learn this subject. Then it is also necessary for us to learn what are the outcomes of this subject. That is after learning this particular course what a student will be able to explain then we have to see what are the 12 graduate attributes that are mapping to this particular subject as per national board of accreditation then we have to see what is the university question paper pattern and finally we have to discuss on what are the textbooks we are going to refer to study this particular subject so let us begin so first we are going to learn about the course objectives that is why we are learning this course so to introduce the field of management task of manager importance of planning types of planning staff recruitment and selection process so you might wonder as an engineer why we are learning this particular subject it is true that you are learning engineering but one or the other day you are going to become the managers in your company or at least you will have to manage certain number of people who are working under you so this is where your work management or uh, task of a manager importance of planning which is necessary for all particular jobs which you are going to do whether it is any field after engineering the next objective to learn this particular subject is to discuss the ways in which the work is allocated, structure of organizations, modes of communication and importance of managerial control in the business. So how a manager controls a particular organization and what is the structure of that particular organization from top level management to the bottom level management, what is the working force, how exactly the workforce is uh, flowing from top to bottom that we are going to learn then also we are uh, learning another important aspect here that is the modes of communication which is very much necessary uh, to survive in any industry after engineering the next particular objective that we are going to learn in this particular subject is to explain the need of coordination between the manager and the staff the social responsibility of a business and leadership this is one of the important objective that is to bridge the gap between the manager and the staff how exactly the manager should behave with the staff and how the staffs are going to behave with the manager so if this bridge is broken the company is not going to sustain as we all are aware of it also what are the socio-economic responsibilities of a businessman even that we are going to discuss in this particular module so the next objective is uh, with respect to the entrepreneurship so each and every one of us have dreamt to become an entrepreneur at least once in our life or some of us might still have that hope that we are definitely going to become an entrepreneurs one day so this particular module is dedicated for such students where we are going to explain the role and responsibilities and importance of an entrepreneur in the economic development of a nation and also what are the concepts involved in entrepreneurship that is what we are going to learn in that particular module so the another important aspect is the capacity building of entrepreneurs so the objective of learning that particular model is to explain the various types of entrepreneurs their functions what are the myths of entrepreneurs entrepreneurship and factors required for capacity building for entrepreneurs so we might have several myths that uh, entrepreneurship is not going to be successful it is very risky all those things so how to overcome that risk and what is the risk management involved what is the risk to reward ratio in entrepreneurship all those things we are going to learn in that particular 
module with respect to the entrepreneurship. The next object is we all know that small scale industries are the backbone of any country's economy. So to discuss the importance of a small scale industries related to the terms and what are the problems involved in it. So that is what we are going to understand in that particular module where we are going to learn in depth about the functioning, establishment and upgradation of a small scale industry. So now there are different types of business which are saturated in this particular era and through the engineering involvement it is possible to upgrade such business. So this is what we call as a new business plan. So to discuss the methods for generating new business ideas and business opportunities in India and the importance of a business plan. So what are the different levels of business planning? How exactly a plan can be implemented? What are the pros and cons of that particular plan? Is what we are going to learn in that particular module. So next is regarding uh, uh, the concepts of project management and discuss capital building process. It is true that each and every one of us will get idea to start a business. But how exactly we are going to start? What are the process involved? How we are going to uh, achieve the funds? How we are going to build the necessary capital? Uh, what are the supporting uh, firms that are present in India? That is what we are going to discuss. How to convert an idea into a product, whether it can compete with the market or whether there will be a saturation, what is the competition involved and how exactly this is going to be fruitful to the society. This is what we call it as a feasibility study. So the another objective of this uh, subject is to explain the project feasibility study and project appraisal discussing project financing. So it is also important that how much money we are going to put in this particular project and when we are going to return that particular money and what are our profits or what are our gains. That is why it is also important to know whether our idea is really going to be successful or it is going to be a flop. So this is a, what we call it as a feasibility study. The next particular objective in this particular subject is to discuss about different institutions at state and central levels supporting business enterprises. So young budding entrepreneurs definitely needs a moral, economic and financial supports and there are various institutes at state and national levels. What are these institutes? What are the kind of help they are giving? What are the trainings or what are the induction programs? What are the short term training programs are provided by this particular uh, institutes? How to approach them? What are the courses being offered? Those are the things we are going to learn. So after learning this particular course, a student will be able to do the following things. The outcome number one is explain the field of management, task of a manager, planning and steps in decision making. The outcome number of two of this particular subject is discuss the structure of our organization, importance of staffing, leadership styles, modes of communication, techniques of coordination and importance of managerial control in the business. So the second outcome here is all related to the communication which is going to be a very important key in any business. So this is going to teach you how exactly to communicate within the business and outside of business. So it is a very important outcome. The next outcome is explain the concept of entrepreneurship and a businessman's social responsibility towards different groups. So what are the responsibilities of an entrepreneur towards the nation, towards the society and others. So the next outcome is show an understanding on the role of small scale industries in the development of country and also to learn about state and central level institutions or agencies supporting business enterprises. The last outcome of this particular course is to discuss the concepts of project management, capital budgeting, project feasibility studies, need for project report and new control techniques. So this is how this particular subject is going to help an engineer. So as per the National Board of Accreditation, there are 12 graduate attributes and this is the only subject in the engineering where all the 12 
graduate attributes are mapped. So let us see what are these 12 graduate attributes. So engineering knowledge, problem analysis, design and development of solutions, conduct investigation of complex problems, modern tool usage, engineer and society, environment and sustainability, ethics, individual and teamwork, communication, project management, and finance, lifelong learning. These are the 12 graduate attributes. And this is the only one subject in the engineering where all the 12 graduate attributes are mapped. So coming to the most important part, that is the question paper pattern. With respect to the Vishwishwaraya Technological University, we are all aware that the question paper will have 10 full questions each full question is for 20 marks. There will be two full questions with the maximum number of three sub questions in one full question from each module. So each full questions with the sub questions will cover the contents under that particular module only. Students will have to answer five full questions selecting one from each module. So you are well aware of this particular pattern. So now Coming to the textbooks, we are going to refer two particular textbooks for uh, this particular subject. The first one is the sixth edition 2017 of Principles of Management. So this is a book authored by uh, PC Tripathi and uh, PN Reddy, published by Macro Hill Publishers. The second book is uh, published by Pearson. Uh, it is the second edition 2014. Title of the book is uh, Entrepreneurship uh, Development and Small Business Enterprises. So this is a second edition authored by Purnima M. Chirantimat. So this is not just a textbook, but an important guide for any entrepreneur who has uh, plans to set up his or her own business. So that's all we have got uh, to discuss in this particular uh, lecture. Hoping forward uh, to have a more important interaction. Please don't forget to like, comment, this particular video and please don't forget to subscribe to this particular channel. Thank you.